How's it going, everyone? Uh, my name is Daniel. Welcome to Flicking Things. Today, I'm going to be reviewing uh, The Fall Guy, not to be confused with The Free Guy, which I thought this movie was a sequel to, but I, I remember that movie was with Ryan Reynolds, not to be confused with Ryan Gosling. And I thought, oh, you know what? Maybe I'm thinking about The Nice Guys, which features Ryan Gosling and not Ryan Reynolds. It gets confusing here. All right, now that we got that out of the way, um, this is, I'll just give you a quick synopsis of this movie. So basically, yeah, it follows Ryan Gosling's character, who is a stuntman, and he's in like in a relationship with one of the crew members in the film. Um, some things happen, you know, they end up splitting, and she ends up becoming like a director of sorts. And something happens with the lead actor who uh, Ryan Gosling uh, used to play his stunt double um, something happened with him and and he sees himself uh, having this perfect opportunity to save the film I guess you will and sort of win her back and that's pretty much the gist of it I don't want to get any give away any spoilers because I do think people should check this movie out because I did actually like this movie um, going into this movie I, when I saw the trailers I wasn't too high on this movie I, I was like like I said I thought it was like a sequel to uh, Free Guy um, but actually you know like I said you know different uh actors and um so i was like all right it looks intriguing you know you got ryan gosling and emily blunt who i think are really good actors um so i didn't really have high hopes but i was like i'll check it anyway check it out anyways and i gotta be honest i really really enjoyed this movie this movie was really entertaining surprisingly it had a lot of um romance in it but it actually played well because ryan gosling and emily blunt's character are have really great chemistry and you buy into the relationship and you buy into you know this sort of um will they won't they uh type of storyline i know we've seen that before with other rom-coms but it's still like sort of fresh because there is a little twist into it you know with the whole shenanigans with like i mentioned you know with the the lead actor that's within the movie not this actual movie but the lead actor within the movie so the movie within the movie and like how ryan gosling you know is trying to win Emily Blunt's love back. That's pretty much where we find the main characters in, you know, Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling. And they just played really well off each other. And I just really bought into their chemistry. Um, I would say this movie actually leans more into the rom-com territory, um, more than it leans into the action type of movie. Um, so the trailers can kind of be misleading, you know, because the trailers show like a lot of action and you're going to think, oh, this is more like an action comedy, which it is. But the center of this movie, the soul of this movie, is pretty much a rom-com. You know, like I said, between um, Ryan Gosling's character and Emily Blunt's character. So that might turn people, some people off. It didn't for me because, like, it actually worked. And, and like I said, I really enjoyed their characters and their chemistry with one another. Um, another standout is Aaron Taylor Johnson, who he plays the lead actor inside the movie, um, the one that Emily Blunt's uh, shooting. Like I said, she's like a director. And in this movie, Aaron Taylor Johnson plays like the lead role character. And he plays your typical like douchebag type of character. You know, like he's like the better than everyone. And like, you know, he's the action star, the action movie star. And you know, he's untouchable. And he plays that really well. And like, and honestly, the move, the past movies that he's been in, he's been really good. And it kind of shows the shortcomings of when he was in Godzilla, because in that movie, he was not like he wasn't really good in that movie and i and it's not his fault it's just because of the script they pretty much had him like show no emotion in that movie i mean you could pretty much have a cardboard cutout of him and it would show the exact same motion that we actually got from the actual aaron taylor johnson in that movie um they, that movie did him no favors even though i like that movie i really like that movie but just like the whole human aspect of the movie just didn't work for me that's a totally different subject for a different time but back into this movie um i thought he was really good um like i said he plays that douchebag uh, action star really well and he was pretty hilarious and um i really wish that we got more time with him and i guess i'll they'll lean into the flaws of this movie um, the third act was kind of anticlimactic. I thought it was going to be bigger than what it actually was. There is this big stunt at the end, which is cool and all, but I don't know for like the actual story itself. Like it, it was, it just, I don't know. It just didn't, didn't work for me. And I think they substitute having, a, you know, a, a satisfying ending with a, a stunt, you know, it's like, Oh, look, look at this big old stunt that we're about to do. And, um, you know, watch this pretty much and it wasn't terrible like it was really cool like what they did um within this action scene um but like i said for the movie itself and the story itself it just it was kind of like 
oh, that's it? All right, whatever. Also thought the movie was a little bit too long. Um, it is a little bit over two hours, but for like a movie like this, like a rom-com, I think the sweet spot for those type of movies is like an hour and 45 minutes around there. Um, so I think they should, they could have shaved off a couple minutes. That's just a minor complaint. But yeah, like I said, I really enjoyed this movie. You know, the action was pretty cool. Had a lot of action scenes. There was a lot of throwbacks to old movies, you know, like one-liners. And I do feel like a lot of those one-liners and, you know, certain action scenes might go over a lot of people's heads, you know, unless you're really into pop culture, you'll reckon, you'll like recognize those, uh, one-liners from other movies. Like I was pretty much laughing. I feel like I might've been the only one laughing at those one-liners because maybe me and a couple other people in the theater got those jokes. Um, so some jokes might fall flat for people because you're going to have to know these certain movies and know the, these one-liners to get them. There was another scene in there that sort of have like a buddy cop type of uh, a sequence, which I really enjoyed with one of the other characters, Ryan Gosling's, you know, friend, I guess you would say, um, I thought that was pretty great. The whole romance and comedy, you know, worked really well together. It was just a perfect blend of everything. You know, it had a nice blend of comedy, romance, and drama, action. And I think it's definitely a movie everyone should check out. And I honestly, I think it's like probably like the perfect date movie. Um, I mean, if you don't have a date, I think it's still worth watching. And I just had a great time. And it was just one of those movies because I was thinking, I was like, you know, this movie reminds me of something, but I just couldn't figure it out. And it sort of clicked after I'm like, well, this movie doesn't really remind me of a specific movie, but it reminds me of a different time, a different time in Hollywood when you saw a lot of uh, rom-coms and, you know, those types of movies. Um, you just don't see that anymore. You don't really see comedy movies at all. Basically, it's just action, you know, some drama and, you know, horror movies. Um, I do feel like the comedy uh, genre is kind of dead. Like, I can't think of a movie recently, a, a memorable uh, movie recently that was a comedy and that was done really well. So this was definitely a breath of fresh air, and I really, really recommend this movie. I'm going to give this movie a rating. I'm going to give this movie four out of five notebooks. I do think everyone should check out this movie. I do hope it does well, because uh, honestly, um, there wasn't a lot of people in the movie theater, unfortunately. And this is just a movie that needs to be seen, because movies like this should make a comeback, and I just miss movies like that. Um, we usually get the typical, you know, reboots and reshoots or not reshoots. Well, we get that too. We get a lot of reshoots and the movie still ends up being terrible, but that's a different topic. Um, but we do get, like I said, reboots and just sequels to like old IPs and stuff. And it just gets, it does get a little tiresome. This is a breath of fresh air. Um, and it was just a good time at the movie theater. All right, that's going to do it for my review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please click like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.